fun, that's going to That's where you're bound to go. Hey, old bonnet. Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good borrow to you. By your wives, your families, and countrymen. How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Hostages for madsense. These were my only terms. I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Oh, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to barter with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. That's the way. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. More sail. All we've got. I'm off the wind, someone. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Loose the stunts. Chapter's got new business series and shallow waters. Captain, 
Beetle Careful, be back here. them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! Furl all sails. See them over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. This ship's built for the open ocean, not stalking bios. If we run aground here, we may never get out. Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as you go, as Captain. Captain. 
Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back. Aye, sir. Surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious coffins these pirate ships must be. Until you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. Then speed along, you're expected, and you know how... Oh, right! He's took him! He took him, I told you! Just go! For God's sake, go! I told you there was something, didn't I tell you? Oh, God! Let's just get out of here! Ugh! <sighs> Simon! It's this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with... Come back, you weakly coward! Surrender. I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion!
Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor is bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, huh? I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then, we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly.
Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. I'll update your communicator. combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Assassin, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. All right. Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. Oh, well done, kiddo. 
Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them or they will destroy your data and send it back home. through and through, ain't ya? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> I think you pulled it a little too long. 
Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there! I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh? You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. 
Come forth, if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a little good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your man. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. And take this shanty town as if it were your own. King's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards! Go on! Our only aim here is to treat with the master of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on! Move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should think every goddamn ship not flying in this cover. Otherwise, we get to show weakness in our bed. Turn to your post and await my orders.
I've got a clear shot. It's an enemy sight. Be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink.
Look at him. Turn cop. Makes me bloody ill to think on how many times I've put up with Horny Gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of? NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough. What's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You ain't a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. You there!
not be warning you again. You heard me, you bastard. Stand still. I'll speed the beach. <laughs> Hold my...
Stop the bastard! Help! Come back here! Oh, Intruder! I need some help here! Stop! I need some of whatever he's drinking.
Oh, no, you don't. Come back. Mine. I have a clear shot. <laughs> ah. In my sights, clear as day. You there! Stop! Stand still! He's making a run for me. I'll catch it and pump it into next week. He's doing a legger!
Come on, boys, you're lagging. That's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Shh. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's by the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. about Woods Rogers, calling him a heathen. What's happened to set them to us? Bush, man. You don't want the governor's ire brought down on you. It's a mysterious Well, I'm much more afraid of the Commodore, in truth. He's a serious chap. No sense of humor.
every goddamn pirate ship anchored in the northern harbor. But I will not stand idly by as the rats scurrying about this island plot and scheme to do us direct harm. You back here, you coward. So tumble up there, men. Tumble up all. Prepare to lose the topsail. Ready to loose the top goals on my signal. Already forward? Wait for my signal, please! The Governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? Has syphilis clouded your mind? Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? <sighs> if not for that heathen... Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Commodore's dead. Are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You shot on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Stay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're going to have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. Captain, keep it afloat. Close them! We're going to hit them! The Brits are on to us. Look there! Listen, you maggots! Senhoras! 
shot. Keep it afloat. Mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! The burning of your ass, governor! Prancing about like they took a prize. Kid, 
You miss quite a time. I pity about Nassau and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. Vane's off to see him now, and I'm following soon. This is what's left of your experiment in democracy. Aye. We do as we please here, and we take our time doing it. But for Christ's sake, Edward. Don't anything but the stink of riches wrinkle your nose. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi! I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. Captain has the helm. Give me some speed! Disappointment you are, Thatch. His mind's made up to stay, he says. It's a sonny. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Faith in me is kind. And with Nassau done in, I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. I want to see about it. The princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement! <laughs> On Congress Man's breakfast! Save us a few bottles, eh? Oh, my God. 
There was a deserter among them who recalled my face. I sliced into his gullet before any word left his lips. Anybody see you? Don't think so, sir. But I reckon. Don't think so, sir. But I reckon Ken will suspect something. He don't miss much. Tell me about the beach. A fair gathering, sir. Most drunk to stand. That will soon pop up. Tell me about Edward Peach. What sort of man is he? It's Thatch, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass tea monster. Details. Stop talking in gibber. Well, sir, he likes his drink. Only he makes him queer. Takes the usual rum flip and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for show. And only last week he rounded up a score of his crew and made him sit in the hold of his shed while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? Like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and what. Of course it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. Thought for a moment I'd die there. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on. It's time. Quickly, send the signal. And remember always this day. What the devil?
boys. Take no guns. I'll cleave you lengthwise, maggots. How you be doing, Edward Milan? I'll not fall here today, bastards. Come at me. Can you fight, Freelance? Can you make it clear? Here's the path to perdition! Fat, sir. Did he fall? Captain? He drinks damnation.
Captain's trick. Mains out, let's go. Aloft, lads. Check those royals. So Thatch has been chopped. Fuck's sake. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was fierce, but his heart was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. My own idiot father liked to brag about how he meant to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad will be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey ball before he ever last show. Right, Kenway. Been musing on this plan of yours. This observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard should be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. All them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Addy. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the Princess docks in her spare time. The Princess? A slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the Sage aboard her. I think we're clear, sir. Captain, Vane's just sunk a merchant schooner. Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? We're ready, sir! Cannot be far now. Sir, to starboard, cast away, adrift in the road.
Griffin, all top! Well, the mizzen top! She's spooked, Captain! The slammer ship is running! Damn fool! I'll get it in close. Stand up! Let's get moving! Unfurl aloft! Man your sheets! Damn that Captain Vin! He's unloading everything he has! He can sink it if he's not careful. We'll get closer. Taking us close. that ship.
the charge! Pull! Reel the lovers in! We're going over. Find the captain. Come on, my road guys. Take care of me, man, you brain. Gun. I'll be louder than sticks and spittle, babe. I'm over the number of all that. Just find the captain. Princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. What's that cost? You made ash of my sails and rigging jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Oh. Lads! Ah, see, oh. the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this lot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tracer! <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and string your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Well, well! The face of Edward Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob! You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Found some just here. <laughs> Don't! 
Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. Don't dance with the fishermen and their dories, can we? This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, can we? I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker. Now let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God, I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering. Now stay back and let me live in peace. I would if you stop filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you pay me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers. And you was the reason Jack Rackham took my crew.
I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean to! Rags will be all that's left of you, can't we? You can't hide, can we? This up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try, by all means. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher! Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly bug! Not 
Nancy boy, only done half a fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe. You just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanka. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the Sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the Sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement.
What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? A potty sailor in plain rags and a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does a crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close. Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There will be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind the blood samples for two? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless and free men, 
or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. It's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? And master, welcome. Buenas noches. What have you learned? The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something, no? And what measures are we taking to recover the princess from this battle? Captain Hornigal has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage is captured. What of the sage's present location? Africa, your excellency. Africa? By God. We do not favor that route. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making them. Slave galleys? Captain, I ask you to divest yourself of that secret secret. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow naturally, efficiently. A fair point, Randolph. Africa we look. Principe, sir, a small island. We've said two of our best men, Burgess and Cochran. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order. 
Discipline. Structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself. Advantage! <laughs> 